Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Kitty Crossing. Today we will be doing a let's play video. It's going to be a very relaxed, chill video. It's going to be me talking, talking a lot, you know, so you guys get to know me a bit better. And in the back, so the screen which you see, is going to be me um, grinding some Nick Miles. Um, this is usually what I do every day when I'm not... Um, doing like a speed build or anything so this is sort of like my usual routine but yeah you guys probably noticed I'm not wearing my beautiful clothes so here I'm just changing into that and um, throughout this whole video I won't be talking too much about what I'm doing on screen because you guys can see that yourself and I'll just be waffling a lot um, and yeah this outfit is very cute before I start talking about myself and um, some other stuff remember to like and subscribe and uh, maybe comment down something below it will mean a lot and yeah so i hope you enjoy the rest of the video so here i have a empty plot so someone from my campsite came and i decided to take them this character replaced octavian so um their birthday is in december <laughs> december february so that is why i took them and yeah you'll guys see in my next video who it is before i start talking look at tad he is so cute have you seen that little froggy face what's your favorite frog comment down below i feel like a lot of people would say lily but for me it's tad like look at that cute face just look at it. those eyes that smile oh my god cuteness overload but yeah to start off with the basics about myself my name is Sabina. I am 14 years old. I'm nearly 15. My birthday is in April. So yeah. Um, my island is called Saint Sabina. You know, my name Sabina. Saint Sabina. You get it? Okay, you get it. That's good. Um, you know, I love cats. That's why I'm called Kitty Crossing. You probably noticed that already. I have a pet cat. And he is called... Felix. Um, here in England we have like a cat brand food and it's also called Felix so it's really funny when he eats the Felix food because like he's eaten himself. Well not actually but it, you know funny. <laughs> so in the game my favourite species is also the cats. Um, mainly because they're cats like they could be really ugly but I'll still love them. But luckily Nintendo has favourites and they made the cats the best. Um, comment d down below your favourite species. So for me, as I said, it's cats. But I also really love the elephants, the ducks and the frogs. I think they're the cutest. Oh yeah, and I actually really love the dogs. Some dogs are like really ugly like Marcel and oh, what's his name, like Mac? I don't think that's his name but that is a dog. But, you know, they're just not cute. But then you have, like, Shep, Cookie, Bo. Bo, I think that's the name. But, yeah, they're just adorable. But some are... Some are questionable. Like, do you ever think with some of the character designs, like, who designed them? Like, imagine working for Nintendo and designing that character. No, I'm sorry, but who gave you permission to, like, publish this into, like, this game which would be sold all over the world millions of copies i don't know here we have a festival rug um it's it's a very cool item so in the game there's not many items that you can place down on the floor but this is one of the items that you can no, this doesn't include the rugs by the way so about the new february slash january update um what do you guys think of it I think it's, I think it's very cool. Like we got some new reactions, new furniture, the seasonal items like the Valentine's Day ones, which you can buy um, using the next stop, which you can see me doing right now. But I can see why some people would be disappointed, um, especially if you like played in the past, like different Nintendo, different Animal Crossing games. They already had like Festival in it, so. It's not really anything new and Nintendo get, didn't give us some of the things we wanted like 
more custom design slots and the other things we wanted but maybe in a future update I don't know we'll see there is also a March update which is coming very soon in March you know it's going to be a Mario update because it's like the I think it's the 35th anniversary of Mario something like that so multiple games have like Mario themed updates like there's something going on in Zelda like different games like that and that includes Animal Crossing so I think it's going to be mainly furniture items and if it is I'm super excited like imagine like more mushroom items or like lucky blocks oh that would be so cool and I always think of peach from Mario and like having peach furniture like literally peaches so like maybe more of that something like that you know not too sure or, or like daisy items daisy's like one of the princess princesses if we have like flower items oh that would be so cool and yeah here you can see, you just saw the customizations of the festival uh, stage thing so it was pink blue orange green and rainbow and yeah, I think it's very pretty. I still haven't used the items around my island yet. I want to make a festival area, but I'm not sure what it's actually going to be. So like, for Halloween, I did have a pumpkin patch um, here where my fairy rock garden is right now. So that was my Halloween build. But yeah, I don't know what to do with the festival stuff. I'll see maybe once I get some more, maybe I'll be inspired. So when it comes to like decorating my island, my inspiration is um, an item. So for example, for the very cool area that I had, um, my inspiration was just like the pink flowers and the pink hyacinths. Are these what are they, are they called that? Are they? I think so. I think I'm saying it wrong. But yeah, those are just my inspiration to use those to create sort of a natural, like, foresty area. So, sort of. like, obviously, it's very cool. So, yeah, like, those are magical items, like the um, mushroom lamp, you know. But yeah, that was, like, sort of my inspiration, like, my main item, sort of, which I wanted to use. It's not even an item, it's a flower, but you guys get the sort of idea. So my favourite theme is fairy core, but I also love jungle core, not jungle core, well I do, but I love tropical core. Um, what else do I like? Let me think. I need to think. Kiss core. And... Oh, my mind is blank now. Like, there's so many amazing islands I have seen. I love horror islands, like... I think, um, because there's not a lot, they like really stand out. So when, whenever I watch like a YouTube video of, a uh, horror island tour, it's like, whoa, that's so creepy. Like I love that. I don't even like horror films in real life. They're kind of too scary for me. You know, I'm a bit of a baby. But uh, horror themed islands in Animal Crossing. Yes, please. <laughs> what are your guys' favorite aesthetics? Most people like cottage call the most, and I personally don't like cottage call that much. I think it's too not basic because it's not basic, it's just that so many people like made it their island theme that it became basic, but it's it's too natural for me. Like, because um, this is my only island, I wouldn't want to make it cottage call because um, it's quite similar to like the original blank empty natural looking island you start off with at the very beginning of the game so I would like to do something more different something more urban so that's kind of what I'm doing my island I do not know when it will be finished but I don't want to like finish it quickly because Animal Crossing is meant is a game that's like designed to be played for at least a year, it's a seasonal game. You're meant to get the seasonal DIY recipes. I mean, you can time travel to get them. 
I prefer not to because it's just more fun for me. Because if I got them straight away, like I wouldn't have anything to do next, if that makes sense. So that way I have something to like look forward to, like the cherry blossom DIYs, which I need to collect in April. The Mario items which are coming, if I slip out. Is there any seasonal March DIYs? I don't think so. Hmm, I don't know. So before I forget, I wanted to ask you guys, would you be interested in me making a Instagram account for this YouTube channel? Because I want to have like some kind of social media, but I'm not sure if there's like a point of me having like an Instagram if like no one's going to follow me, you know? Um, so um, if you would follow me, just comment down below if it's a good idea because I'm not sure about that. Um, but yeah, here, here I'm just making a snowboy. Oh, a perfect snowboy. Can you believe it? They're really hard to do, but like lately I've been really good at them. I mean, it is February. I've had a lot of practice since December. Um, but yeah, here I kind of skipped ahead to just me doing the actual Nook Mouse tasks. Like you can see me watering flowers and stuff, making DIY recipes. Um, so yeah, I did gain a lot of Nook Miles here. But I don't want the video to be too long, so I kind of cut it out. And finally, after grinding for quite a long time, I gained in total uh, like 7,000, I think. I don't know, I'm really not bothered to do the maths. KK Slider said, stale cupcakes. Imagine being like a popular artist, that being the name of your song. Very weird. Can we enjoy KK Slider singing? So beautiful. So when I was listening to KK Slider at the end, um, my pocket turned out to be full. So he couldn't give me the music note for Stale Cupcakes, but that's okay because I listened to him sing again and he gave me the music note for KK Aloha. So that was very, very kind of him. And this is nearly the end of the video, but before you click on something else, remember to like and subscribe. You may do it this far. You, you must love my channel. So just subscribe, you know, like the video, comment down your opinion on this. And yeah, I hope to see you in a future video. So bye.